for some, there's nothing like a ride off-road in the country. Wind in your hair, <laughs> dirt in your face. All right. But at this dealership, you can get a sense of that experience without leaving the showroom floor. Okay, this is kind of wild. Whoa! It's a stomach-lurching, startlingly real virtual ride through the sand dunes of Utah. You get the feeling when you're going over the hill. Like From a seat in a little village in southwestern Ontario. This is one of 14 Arctic Cat dealers in Canada now using VR headsets as a sales tool. Down, it nice. helps them, say, sell a snowmobile in July. But more than that... It's a passion-based industry. This fuels people's passion. You know, it gets them um, invested. Need proof? <laughs> Holy that is why so many companies, including the big ones, are now rushing full tilt to invest in VR technology. By one count, the number of S&P 500 companies highlighting virtual reality as part of their business plans went from 8 to 38 in the last year alone. Now, StubHub wants you to check out the view from the seat before you buy that ticket to the ball game. And the New York Times is offering you a chance to climb the new World Trade Center on the outside of the building. Much like Google's VR headset called Cardboard, this Toronto startup also makes one that works with a smartphone. But with Pinch VR, you can actually interact with that virtual reality, allowing users to create and manipulate seemingly three-dimensional environments so you can see how that piece of furniture fits before you buy it. We're kind of bridging the gap and really kind of helping people out imagine and visualize what products could potentially look like, and VR is a big uh, component of that. The prototype isn't quite ready yet, but he says customers at Lowe's in the U.S. will start getting these headsets free with purchases by the end of the year. A virtual sales catalog. Soon, the only thing missing will be the dirt. Real dirt, not virtual dirt. <laughs> Aaron Saltzman, CBC News, Dorchester, Ontario.